Twitter. For, for the nerve of Dick Cheney to say, let's oh, not look please. back at 11 or 12. Oh, please what? You want to excuse this guy? This guy came up with phony information about going into a war? You know it said their weapons of mass destruction. I think this is it like was feigned wrong. outrage. I don't was it funny? Like, this is what I don't understand is why, I mean, having worked there, I don't understand this conspiracy theory that people think Dick Cheney came up with something and he was the only one in the world that was able to affect change. Because they're watching too much all late night TV. Every single, Did Bill Clinton all, come up with it first? In t in, during the Clinton administration. So, 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 first of all, we're all blaming one another when we should be blaming Saddam Hussein. Okay, that's, we didn't start this. Okay, he did. For, then, all 15 agencies involved in gathering intelligence for the United States agreed with high confidence that Iraq is continuing to get the WMD. So did the intelligence agencies of Britain, Germany, Russia, China, Israel, and France. And yet somehow it was Dick Cheney that convinced him all by himself that this was what was happening. The Wizard of Oz. I, where does that, mm -hmm. how does that well, the, the, where were the weapons of mass destruction? No, Bob, you're missing man, the point. Where, how there do you was say more, that Dick Cheney came up with a lie that after all, when he, all those he, agencies did the He's the one who told, the, he, he convinced the president to have Dick Cheney to have uh, Colin Powell go before the U.N. and come up with a bunch of boards that were just absolutely phony. But the great thing about this debate about who was right and who was wrong is you don't have to risk anything. You don't have to so, do anything. So okay. what do you want so, to do? Right? You want to go back?